uh, the usual relationship question or two. <laughs> uh, first of all, I've been the last couple of weeks, three weeks, month, really on the high flying disc. Yeah. I think of something, bang, it's there. I'd like this for retirement, bang, the means, it's there. Yes. So you're saying on some subjects, you have no resistance. So you get into the receptive mode and the movement from the vibration into the complete manifestation happens quickly in the absence of resistance. And no effort. It's just... So do that with everything. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I do understand that. I'm single for a while now yeah. and you've got these practice statements or these practice expectation is a really important word to say right now mm -hmm. you get what you expect so relative to some things what you expect brings an outcome that pleases you yes. in other subjects what you expect brings an outcome that doesn't please you so you have to find some way of changing your expectation do you think the and way to change your expectation into something different than what is, is to continue to talk about what is? No, and I agree, and I expect, and I feel, and I know that it's there, it's coming for the love that I want, or the love I want to give. It's so interesting for us to say to you that you have to find a way of being happy anyway. Yeah, I and I yeah. am. Really? Really. <laughs> I would say 99% of the time. We would say not even close. Okay. <laughs> then I'm fooling myself. Okay. But that's all right because you come from, all of you do, you come from a long history of noticing what is mm -hmm. and you just can't get there from there. You can't get to where you want to be from where you are given the current way that you're thinking about it. You just can't get there. So you just got to think about some other things. And mm -hmm. when you think about other things, bang, you said, bang. When you think about other things, yeah. gunshots and car wrecks. No, that's not what you meant. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. But you get what you feel and the universe never misses. The universe never reads it wrong. Mm -hmm. And so you got to find some way of softening that and We've I, talked to and so I've many people. I've sort of been doing that by thinking of those other things, and then bang, those other things come. So, well, so just keep doing it. Distraction from the absence of what you want will get you the presence of what you want. It's just that simple. Distraction from the absence of what you want. And the thing about a relationship is that it's sort of up close and personal. It's sort of a big player in your life experience. It's something that you find yourself thinking about regarding many things, but you just have to find a way of softening that. And it is our promise to you that as you soften the way you feel about it, because you can't get something that you are missing, you can't find something that is lost and something can't get there. That's been a long time coming because even in the attitude that it's a long time coming, it's a long time coming. This is a long time coming. Well, is it here yet? No, it's a long time coming. <laughs> well, is it coming soon? No, it's a long time coming. It's mm -hmm. been a long time coming. That's the mm -hmm. way you're feeling about it. You see, we know you understand this. You'll oh, hear I much hear more as we are moving forward. It really That's is right. it's about not trying to get the cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. It's about finding the feeling. You see, we know that you believe that if you have the relationship, then then you will feel like this. What we're saying to you is leave out the condition and feel like this. And then the relationship will be the evolution of that. I've been practicing and my way. Most people that. want to do it the other way. Yeah. Give it to me and then I'll be glad. We say, no, be glad. And then it will come. Mm -hmm. You say, I'll believe it when I see it. We say, no, you'll way. see it when you believe it. Yeah. But when it's something that you have a habit of practice about, you're not going to change your habit all at once. And that's why distraction. That's why focusing on the things that are working is the key for you. It okay. really is. Okay. And even in an environment like this, we cannot focus you into that place. You've got to focus yourself into that place mm -hmm. because you know everything that we're going to say to you. I do. You do. Enough for now. Uh, just one more question. I have a son that has not spoken to me in a couple, three years. And I sort of miss the little guy, but I practice wishing him the best and 
feeling the best for him, feeling he's on his path, he's on his way, he's, so, he's well, learning. Um, all of those things, but they feel like not enough to you, we know. So tell us, is it his choice or someone else's? I think it's his. He feels I was never there for him. And I don't understand that, but that's what I'm told he feels. So uh, anyway, that's the condition that currently exists. So the question is, this is a big question. It's an important question. The answer is easy, especially given what you've been hearing us talking about. But the question is, can you hold him as your object of attention and muster good feelings? Or every time you think about him, do you just miss him? No, I can muster good feelings. And what do you think your practice has been? I've been practicing. Because you see, here's the final test in this examination of this situation. If it is true, that you can hold him as your object of attention and that in doing so you can find alignment with source who knows him fully then you're not having any loneliness because loneliness does not occur under those conditions mm -hmm. if it is true that you can hold him as your object of attention and feel proud of him feel glad for him feel eager about what's coming so that you're not feeling any regret mm -hmm. then you're truly in alignment with who you are and the manifestation is in the process of becoming but that isn't true yet is it because you still do feel regret and you still do feel some defensiveness and you still do feel yeah, some missing. it sort of comes and goes and, and yeah. I guess it's of course where, where I'm focused at the point it's natural that it would but yeah. what we're saying to you is he is giving you an opportunity to find your true freedom your true empowerment your true no longer being held hostage by what someone else does and that really is the subject of relationships like nothing else is the subject of relationships because almost every relationship that almost everyone has they are being held hostage by something and let's talk about it in the context of this unconditioned that we are wanting you to begin to focus on and experience the freedom from and discover the fuller manifestation of all the things that you really want in other words don't misunderstand we're not trying to talk you in to finding an unconditional place instead of the condition we're trying to help you to understand that finding the unconditional place is the only path to the condition that you want that's a big distinction you got to do that before this can happen I understand that and, and so it just takes practice most people are when they think about relationships just about any kind of relationship too. instead of finding their own personal path of least resistance path of least resistance to what to alignment which is the path to all things wanted because you've put everything about that relationship that you want in your vortex so when you find mm -hmm. that place it will come round to you it is our promise to you that it will yeah, but what most people do instead is they need the condition to give them the reason to feel better rather than showing themselves that they can feel better anyway and in the process it's something like what can I do to be your path of least resistance what can I say to make you understand what can I say to make you understand that you were not seeing it the way I was seeing it what can I say to make you feel better what can I do differently and it turns out everything you try to do and you have tried everything you try to do backfires and we want to say this very bold thing it backfires 100% of the time when you're trying to find someone else's path of least resistance instead of your own because it's only when you find your path of least resistance what's another word for path of least resistance path of most allowance path of most empowerment path of most influence in other words you got to hook up with your power and your clarity and your influence before you influence someone else into their alignment you see mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's this literal it's like saying I see that you are unhappy with me in some way so instead of me making sure that I'm happy anyway instead I'm going to focus on your unhappiness with me and now I'm focused upon your unhappiness with me now in the process 
even though it seemed logical to me at the time in the process I've completely disempowered myself my source isn't helping me over here because my source is over there doing something entirely different mm -hmm. so I'm using you as my excuse to separate myself from my source and that's why it's so important that you see me because you're keeping me yeah. not only from you but from my source you know how screwy I, that is? I do. <laughs> I do. So what you want to say, not right out loud and not to him, don't send him a letter or an email or anything. Just say to yourself, this has not been working well for either one of us. So I'm freeing both of us from this unworkable I've done, plan. I've done, I've done that. And I'm going to find my appreciation for you, which I can do easily. I'm going to find my pride for you, which is really easy. I'm going to forgive myself which is not so easy but I'm gonna do it mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop beating up on either one of us for what isn't working and I'm gonna revel revel in the aspects of my life that are working and I'm gonna come back into my alignment back into my clarity back into my attraction power and I'm gonna join my source in the calling of you into this relationship and depending upon how resistant you are you'll come or you won't come but right. I'll be free of my own resistance and when you're free of your own resistance usually they come right in because you don't even see the blockage it's sort of like saying to someone I'm over here and you're over there and I want you to come over here mm -hmm. and they look over at you they're not that interested <laughs> and so you puff yourself up and you get as big as you can be and you say you who you who I'm over here <laughs> see the path I'm gonna just throw these barricades on the path for you to climb over I'm over here but <laughs> climb over all of our history and climb over it all and come over here and they're over there thinking you got to be kidding I don't want to climb over any stuff but what if you're over here in your vortex and they're over there and you say hey I'm over here and instead of obstacles that you've thrown on the trail there's just this bright beautiful good feeling compelling delicious trail they'll come for the feeling they don't even care that you're at the end. <laughs> yeah. words, that's how it I, works. I see that. I feel yeah. that. And, really good. And yeah. Yeah, I feel like I've been practicing and, and it's working and I'm growing and well, this, all of this. This is, is a very common thing. So people will come to us as you are and they will want to seize the opportunity of visiting with someone who really does know the path to what they want and instead of taking the easiest path which you started to do as you were talking about the things that were working bang 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 mm -hmm. they take the thing that is the most resistant in their life and that's what they want to spend this airtime on and then what you get back from us is completely annoying <laughs> we don't think that you want to spend any airtime on that. I agree. Any airtime on Thank that. You. Any airtime on that. Your airtime is so precious, and there is so much wonder that can be done with it. Mm -hmm. And why squander it on something that doesn't work? Yeah. And don't misunderstand. We're not saying the relationship's not important, and we're not saying that it doesn't have the probability of reconciliation. We're not saying any of that. Yeah, we're just right. saying you can't get there the way you're going about it, Thank and you, you know better. I do. All right, get out. <laughs>